Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about 10 different types of people at school. Let's get started. Number one, the overachiever. These are the types of people who get 98% on a test and still complain that their mark is too low. Like hello, I could be sitting over here with like 90% or even 75% and I'd be happy with it. But nope, that one kid is always like, oh, I only got 98% on my test. Like, calm down, man. It doesn't matter if you have 98 or 94%. You're still at an A. Number two, the slow walkers. Nuff said. <laughs> like, beep, beep, out of my way. I've got people to see, classes to attend, places to go. Move. The worst part is when you can't even walk around them, so you're doomed to walk behind them. Number three, the stoppers. Much like the slow walkers, they are one of the most annoying types of people in the hallway. They're the ones who just stop right in the middle of the hallway, right in front of you. Like, hello, is there a vending machine to stop for? Nope. The only thing worth randomly stopping for is if you suddenly see a food vendor. And do you see a food vendor? Nope. I don't understand why you feel the need to stop right in the center of the hallway. Like, why? Number four, the cult. I call them the cult because it's like a blend of the slow walkers and stoppers mixed together into a giant group, aka a cult, who completely block your path because A, they are all slow walking so you're already stuck behind them and you can't walk around them because they're a giant group that takes up the whole freaking hallway. Then they'll all randomly stop right in the middle of the hallway, blocking traffic from both directions. Oh, can you not? <laughs> Number five, the washroom's best friend. Weird title, I know, but I couldn't think of anything better for it. Now, I'm pretty sure this doesn't apply to guys, but these are the kind of girls in washrooms who just hang out there all the time. I don't know about you, but I find it insanely uncomfortable to pee while someone's just standing there listening to you. It's not like they're in there to actually use the washroom, wash their hands, do their makeup or whatever. They're literally just standing there because they're ditching class or something. Can you at least leave when someone comes in to use the washroom or, you know, turn the tap on? I don't know, do something. Number six, the reminder. This is that one kid in the class that always reminds the teacher that they forgot to give you a quiz or forgot to collect the homework for the day. Like, no, no, stop. Number seven, the scent freak. This is that guy or girl in the hallway who likes to drench themselves in cologne or perfume. You do not need to bathe yourself in your perfume or cologne. That is disgusting. Like sure, it smells nice, but when you're basically pouring the bottle on you, you smell horrible and the scent travels around the entire school within seconds and it's just Number eight, the face-sucking couples. <gasps> Those couples who just make out 24-7 at school in the hallway. Girl, no, you can wait like two more hours to get out of school and do that. Where my locker was last year was literally couple central because every time I went to go use my locker, there'd be a couple making out against it. And you'd think it'd be easy to tell a couple to move, but as soon as you're like, hey, excuse me, I need to get to my locker, they don't even acknowledge your existence and continue to make out against the locker. So then you're awkwardly standing there trying to reach for your lock, but you accidentally get licked by one of them. <sighs> and number nine, the food addict. This is that kid in class who's always eating. And I mean always eating. Like they'll have a whole pizza and suddenly they finish it and whip out like a salad. And then they whip out a soup. And then they whip out carrots and cucumbers and everything. And then next thing you know, he's gonna be whipping out like a giant whole cooked turkey. Where are you getting all this food from and how are you pulling so much food out of your bag? I do not understand. This is annoying in the way that I get very hungry in class. So when I see you whipping out like a whole frickin' chicken, I'm gonna want some of that. Or just the fact that they just keep eating and you're so amazed by them that you're not even paying attention to what's happening in class. And lastly, number 10, the white outer. This kid is known as the white outer because they love to correct the teacher. Like the teacher could accidentally say two plus two equals six or something. And then the kid has to like immediately shoot up his hand and be like, no, it's four, it's four, it's four. Or the teacher will have like a typo in their PowerPoint and the kid has to point it out. Obviously everyone else sees it too, but no one's gonna bring it up because there is no point to doing that. Frickin' white outers. <laughs> So that is all for today's video. Be sure you give this video a giant thumbs up and also comment down below any other types of people that you know at school. Also, if you want to send something to my P.O. Box, it is written in the description down below as I will be doing a P.O. Box opening video soon, but I need some more like tiny little packages to open on camera, so I'll be waiting for those. And if you write me a letter, I'll be writing you back too. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Social media links down below, and I'll see you guys in two or three days. Bye! For real.